Hello and welcome Pisces. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Pisces, we're going to be taking a look into love, but of course if anything else comes out, I will definitely read that as well. Um, keep in mind these are general readings, so not everything may resonate with your situation. That's alright, just take what does resonate and don't worry about the rest. Alright, Pisces. Ooh, Pisces. So far we have the Two of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. Okay. What else we got? Kind of filling these two. The Fool card and the Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of uh, Pentacles and the Moon card. So somebody's definitely kind of worried um, that the other shoe may drop. Uh, something may be over or something may be coming to an end, possibly have abandonment issues. Um, there's definitely some kind of confusion about the situation. Um, <laughs> but it's almost like it's it's more coming through as like fear. Um, because I don't feel like anything's really ended. There may be kind of a pause or a break right now, but I'm not getting... It's ended, if that makes sense. Somebody could just be kind of taking some time to figure things out. You know, somebody could be... Um, healing, you know, taking vacation. I mean, this could be a number of things. Um, but I do feel like more importantly, this person is just kind of, you know, taking some time. Um, but I don't feel like I said, more importantly, this is over. It's just on pause. That's what I was getting at. Uh, with the full card, I do feel like, you know, we are still figuring things out. We're, <laughs> we're almost ready to take that leap. Hmm. I, I say almost ready because I still feel like we're figuring some things out. We're still working on our confidence. Hmm. We still have some, some unanswered questions is what I keep getting here. All right. And I feel like it's all about love. Like, how does this person really feel about me? Um, does this person really love me? Does this person know I love them? Does this person know I care? Because I don't feel like we're really saying it. All right. Four of Swords. <laughs> Clarifying that Two of Cups there for Pisces. King of Cups. Clarifying the Two of Cups for Pisces, please. Chariot. So yeah, so somebody's ready to move this forward. Somebody's ready to take action while it kind of feels like the other person is just kind of healing, kind of waiting for them to come to them. Um, it kind of feels like one person has, you know, possibly said how they feel or it's almost kind of like you're both waiting for each other to kind of say, okay, this is how I truly feel. This is what I want. Because um, it's like I'm waiting on you. You're kind of waiting on me. So nothing's really being said. With the chariot, I do feel like we're going to be taking action. I do feel like we're both going to be expressing our emotions, kind of letting things go. Um, you know, definitely talking about this, possibly dropping the L word. All right. So four of swords. If this is someone new coming towards you, Pisces, um, it kind of feels like they're a little closed off. Or, I don't know, they like to maybe take their time. Yeah. This kind of feels like someone you already know, Pisces. Um... Possibly an age difference between the two of you because one of you is showing up a little bit more mature than the other person. This could just be like emotionally mature, um, but there I, I'm getting some kind of like difference. But like I said, it's almost like the two of you are waiting on each other though to make a move. Yeah, I get somebody's having to face their fears. Somebody's having to. Um, I keep getting sleepless nights. I get insomnia, which is kind of funny because I have had a lot of insomnia lately. Um, so maybe a lot of my fellow fishies out there aren't sleeping well. Um, but it kind of feels like somebody, like I said, is definitely facing their fears, you know, possibly thinking, okay, I've got to open up because I don't want to lose this. Um, I kind of get somebody could be watching you, Pisces. Like I said, kind of either waiting for you to make a move or they're just kind of watching you, kind of waiting for the right time. This could be looking at your social media. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this person is thinking about you quite heavily. And like I said, possibly just even looking at social media, just, you know, watching you or just thinking of you. Um, possibly has some pictures of you that they're looking at, reminiscing, things like that. Uh, King of Wands, though, they do want to take action. 
Um, I keep getting, I keep getting steady. I keep getting stable. Um, I keep getting wanting to take action, but also being responsible. So I'm not sure what that means, but somebody out there will get it. I keep getting passion. I keep getting definitely chemistry, definitely passion, romance. This person's very romantic, um, or they want to be romantic. They want to open up romantically. Clarifying the full card for Pisces. Nine of Wands. So somebody's got to recognize I don't have to do this um, on my own. I also feel like this is two people who's been going through a very rough patch. So you, you know, this person, um, but recognizing you're not alone. You have each other to lean on. Like there's something solid between the two of you that I feel is like getting you through these hard times. Um, the Knight of Wands, you know, I just, I want to pursue this passion. I want to take action. Somebody feels a little more intense than the other person could possibly be very extroverted, um, outspoken. But I feel like, you know, again, somebody's ready to take action. Somebody's ready to accomplish this. Like they want to put focus in this. They want to put work in on this. Um, it's like, you know, I'm ready. Like I know, I know we can do this. I know we can make this work, Pisces. Five of Pentacles is clarifying that Nine of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, somebody has an abandonment issue. Fear of abandonment. Fear that somebody's just going to leave or something's not going to work. Um, like I said, it could possibly be because you and this person have a past together. And that's why the world card is here is, you know, saying like, think of everything that you've learned, you know, let go of what needs to be let go of approach this differently approach this, um, from not from the past. And this is a new cycle, uh, temperance, bringing balance, making peace, you know, also healing, um, having a good flow. Seven of Wands is on the bottom, and I feel like you're fighting for what's yours, Pisces. I feel like you're standing your ground. I feel like you're protective of your heart, but I also feel like you're you're fighting for what you want, and I also get that from your person. Um, I feel a lot of healing in this connection. I feel things taking their time, but I also feel accomplishment. I also feel um, like success this time. Um, I do feel like I said somebody has some abandonment issues. Possi I keep getting it kind of on both sides. Um, so it could be, you know, one, but it feels like one person has like had these abandonment issues for like quite some time, if that makes sense. Uh, possibly since childhood. Could possibly be dealing with a Cancer, uh, with a Sagittarius, um, also with an Earth sign. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Air Sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We have relational abuse. So notice red flags that may be emotional, physical, sexual, financial in nature. Ask for help in a situation. Again, I kept getting somebody holding on to some kind of trauma or like abandonment issues, things like that. Um, so somebody could just kind of like have some commitment issues. Somebody could be healing from all of this. And that's what they don't want to open up to you about. But I do feel like they do want to put the work in. They want it. Maybe that's why, you know, they've been working on themselves. Um, I don't know. But I feel like they're, they want to fix things. We have Stork. So a new addition. Ideas manifested. Pregnancy, possibly. Um, baby, child, children, family. Good news and inspiration. So if you all are being physical, definitely be careful if you are not ready for a baby. All right, we also have cheers. So new beginnings, anniversary, milestone, date, celebration, meeting new people, and happiness. So especially with Sork there and cheers, I am getting like there's just something new that's coming your way that's worth celebrating. Um, we also have sweetheart, so romance, infatuated, want you back, courting, a gentleman, a surprise, treating you well, and sorry. So I do feel like this person is sorry for, you know, things that happened in the past. Sorry for, you know, not opening up and telling you, like, what was going on with them. Um, but like I said, I am getting new beginnings here. Um, you know, happiness, you know, things worth celebrating. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we do have proposal. So getting proposed to or a surprise gift, something that is proposed. So again, possibly, you know, a relationship, you know, commitment, um, things moving to the next level. All right. All right. So Pisces, let's go ahead and let's get ah, some cards. I'm actually just going to go ahead and spread these and then pull some Zodiac cards, kind of see who we are dealing with here, who's coming towards Pisces. We have a Gemini, 
we have a Taurus, we have a Leo, and let me get this, and we have an Aquarius. All right. Let's go ahead and fan those out. So like I said, definitely some air signs here, earth sign, um, and fire. All right, let's get some traits of this person for Pisces. Who is this person coming towards Pisces? Give me some of their traits for Pisces. Okay, we have dark eyes. I'll show you that in just a moment. We have Sirius. There's the dark eyes. We have brown eyes. Confident. Okay. So somebody may appear very confident. I feel like it's almost a person that actually has the most insecurities that they appear like very, very confident. Um, this connection is very playful or your person is very playful or this could be you Pisces. Um, we also have needy. So somebody could be coming across as being a little bit needy. We have masculine, we have piercing eyes. I just want one or two more please for Pisces. We have light eyes and we have charismatic. All right. So hopefully everybody can see those. Um, let me see. Let's get some timing cards to see when this person is gonna be approaching Pisces or opening up to Pisces. Okay. We have not the right time. So something's going on making this not the right time. So maybe not right now. When is this person going to be coming in? Coming towards Pisces or opening up? We have full moon. We are heading towards a full moon. It's also, I think, a lunar eclipse as well. Um, something about the month of August. Maybe you're dealing with a... Let's see, that would be a Leo... Or, I can't think of who else is in August here. Okay. Patience is running thin. <laughs> um, could be dealing with a March baby, because March is on the bottom of the deck. All right, and then we have soon. So the full moon is relatively soon. Um, but I still feel August is here for a reason. This could be maybe, you know, again, giving hint to the person's zodiac sign, or this could be just saying, um, something happened in August, you know, maybe the two of you stopped talking, maybe you started talking, you know, this could be a number of things. Um, but August is definitely here for a reason. Um, but it's just not the right time right now. They're saying like, it's not going to take forever. Just give it a little bit. Somebody's patience is running thin though. Um, just let things unfold how they're supposed to, but it's possible that, you know, this person is headed your way soon. Um, possibly even as soon as the next full moon. So, all right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. So hopefully this helps. Um, I want to thank you to each and every one of you guys. You are awesome. You are amazing. And I appreciate you all. Um, I hope you have a great week ahead, and as always, take care.